Hey guys, so I am in my office today and I was just kind of sitting here thinking um, it's the second week of courses and by now, well, of summer courses, and by now, you know, if you have not paid for courses, I'm sure you've gotten like a lot of alerts. So that got me to thinking summer classes have started. You haven't gotten enough financial aid to cover the rest of the summer. What do you do? But before I get started, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. That's right, guys. My ebook is finally here. Adult Daily Living Skills, What's the Big Deal? It has six ADLs with helpful write-ups, lesson plans for each ADL, and an activity, as well as two extra activities and a helpful glossary. Make sure you click the link down below in the description box to purchase a copy and head over to my blog, dugandaysdisability.org for a $5 off coupon code. See you there. So the first thing that I would recommend is that you speak with your financial aid counselor. I know in my university, now the students have, or the undergraduate students have financial aid counselors where they can go and get details about their financial aid status and just find more resources and things of that nature. If that's not your case, then reach out to someone in the financial aid office, the director, um, a counselor in that office, because you want to let them know your situation you want to actually know your number, so don't just go in blindly. You want to know how much you or how much you have currently and how much you need to cover the rest of the semester. That is so so very important. So do your research. Come in with your numbers written down or send an email. Um, I would say send an email first and then try to set up that meeting. Don't go into you know like a long um, drawn out story uh, during email because it is difficult to read sometimes. Um, sometimes a person may not be sure you know what you're asking so I would say you know send an email try to set up an appointment make a call um, and try to set up an appointment but this is something that needs to be done in person or via zoom um, if that option is available to you I know a lot of campuses are opening back up so if you feel comfortable enough definitely go in person and then something else that's very very important you want to be professional right so like I said you want to come in knowing your numbers um, you want to come in with a good disposition. You know, you want to be polite, you want to be present, you want to be engaged, um, but you want to make sure that that interaction is professional. That's so, so, so very important, especially, you know, when you're trying, you know, to advocate for yourself and get that financial help that you need. You cannot miss that step. How much are the courses? Can you do a payment plan? So you want to look into that as well. So sometimes, like, it's not that you can't pay it, you just can't pay it all at once so you want to make sure you know that you inquire about a payment plan especially before you take out a student loan and you don't need to or you don't have to so you want to make sure you know that you ask all of the questions that need to be asked and asking about a payment plan is definitely an option okay so something else to think about are you a part of of an organization so whether that's a fraternity a sorority maybe you're a part of something at your church you know somewhere that you've done some consistent volunteer volunteering a lot of those organizations do have money for students or or for people who are in college but you don't know um, if you don't ask so of course like I said earlier you know be professional you don't want to say hey I need some money you know because I can't cover my summer classes but you do just want to pose the question you know this is how much I have this is how much I need I wanted to know you know if there was some possible scholarship or something that could possibly um, assist me with what I need but you don't know unless you ask so don't feel shy about asking and lastly you want to reach out to those family members who you can depend on in a time of need like this especially you know with tuition per for tuition purposes so if that does apply to you because that doesn't apply to everybody you know some people don't have family who can support their college dream so if that is not an option for you don't be discouraged don't give up you know go over the other tips that I went over in this video 
also, you know, you probably noticed that I didn't talk about, you know, student loans. Um, me personally, I'm not going to ever encourage somebody to take out a student loan um, because I know that that comes with some ramifications, right? So definitely try everything before you even think about that option. All right. So I hope this video was for you, was helpful for you. Drop down in the comments and let me know that I miss anything or were you in a situation, you know, before where you didn't have enough money to cover your summer classes because financial resources were limited? How did you get through? Drop down in the comments. I want to know. Check me out over at my blog, DuganDigsDisability.org, and I'll see you this weekend for an adult daily living skills video. Bye.